Welcome everybody to another edition of Hidden in the Universal Vault. I'm Ron, your host. So I thought we'd go ahead and go go back to the 1980s. Yes, we're taking a look at an 80s film, which I think... Got to get that hair off. Yeah, I think it's like... Hang it. Yeah, okay, I got it off. So anyways, I thought we'd go back to the 1980s. Specifically, the late 80s. We're taking a look at a, a uh, adventure film. I want to say it's an adventure film. It's an adventure biographical film, and it stars and it stars Sigourney Weaver and Brian Brown. 1988's Gorillas in the Mist. Now, Gorillas in the Mist is a movie I had many, many years ago. I remember watching this many years ago uh, when I bought this DVD. I think I was like in early high school. And I had the CBD for many years, and I wanted to get around to watching it. And I only remembered the first half of the film, the beginning, right up to, um, right up to, uh, I'm trying to think, right up to uh, them getting them getting chased by the gorillas. Yeah. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention. This is also put up by Warner Brothers. It says Warner Brothers and Universal Pictures. That's what I forgot to the forgot to uh, mention. But yeah, anyways, now I got out of the way and talked about that. Let's talk about Gorillas in the Mist. There we go. I'll move that up a bit. Like there we go. Okay. Anyways, Gorillas in the Mist is a biographical pick from the story of Diane Fossey, portrayed by Sigourney Weaver. Though the title says Gorillas in the Mist, The Adventures of Diane Fossey on the DVD. But when the movie starts, it says Gorillas in the Mist, The Story of Diane Fossey. For the sake of the video, I'm just going to say Gorillas in the Mist. But anyways, Gorillas in the Mist, like I said before, again, it's the story of Diane Fossey played by Sigourney Weaver. She basically, she's, um, she's an animal expert. If you're familiar with another one who's an expert on wildlife animals, and that's Dr. Jane Goodall. She's similar to Dr. Jane Goodall at times. But Dr. Jane Goodall is not even in this movie, nor they mention it. But anyways, the film starts with her going to a lecture. The film starts in 1966, and then we get decades later into the late 70s. So basically, basically she's... She's sick and tired of the city life, so she heads down to Africa. Though the movie is actually shot in Rwanda, it's almost similar to how Hotel Rwanda had that effect, but that's a different movie. This movie actually is interesting. So she meets up, she goes to a lecture, meets up with a man, then the guy tells him, you need to go to Africa. So she takes the plane and heads off to Africa. So basically... That's where it revolves around her and that kind of stuff. So, she's in Africa and she realizes that she meets, meets Simonian, I think his name is. Solomon? I probably butchered the name wrong. But anyway, she meets up with a guy that's who's like this African tribe. It's really interesting because it was actually, again, like I said, shot in Rwanda. The movie was even directed by Michael Aptat. His previous film for Universal was Coal Miner's Daughter. Though, he would go and direct probably my favorite 007 film, The World's Not Enough. Kind of odd for a director like him to direct a bomb picture. But I'm, I'm getting off topic. Let's talk about Girls in Miss again. So basically, yeah, she basically, she meets up with another, with a camera guy, Brian Brown who actually plays Bill Cam Campbell, is it? Uh, Bob Cam Bob Campbell. He works for, uh, he works for National Geographic. So he's on there shooting some film for National Geographic. And basically she, before she meets him, he, she gets chased by gorillas. And these, and these African people are killing gorillas. So his, her job is to try to stop poachers, poaching, from killing all these gorillas. So that's where the craziness happens. So 
At times, she'll, like, basically take it to the extreme. She'll, like, take it to the extreme and just craziness ensues. So one time she finds a baby gorilla, she comes up to this man and tells him who is responsible for injuring this baby gorilla. I want to know. Or, yeah, it's like, or you can see your body in a coffin. No, your body will be in a box. So she's really aggressive. She basically, she basically, and I hate to say this, but she tells those people how the bear shits in the woods. But that's really, again, that's really what she does. What's fascinating about the Diane Fossey character is how tragic it ends. I'm not going to tell you how it ends, but if you do want, if you do want to read into it, I'll leave a Wikipedia link on. I'll I'll leave the Wikipedia link in there. So if you want to go ahead and read about that, you can. Maybe. But anyways, she determined that. Cut five years later, she heads back to there, and the same thing happens. She really takes the green extreme, and the woman and another guy says, you know, gorillas are going to attack you. It's really interesting. So that's all I really have to say about Grills in the Mist. I will say this, I think Sigourney Weaver, the Sigourney Weaver was, in my opinion, the perfect choice to play Diane Fossey. I watched a Megan a feature run, they showed a, a, a clip of the real Diane Fossey to compare with Sigourney Weaver, and I would say the looks can't really be the same, and it's really hard for an actress to look exactly like that person. They made so many movies about about um about the Civil War and can't get any everybody to look like exactly to look like it. So sometimes it works, other times it doesn't. With Sigourney Weaver, I think the looks not really, but the performance is so good. Sigourney Weaver is fantastic in this role. She is just nails it right out of the park. Um Brian Brown who his previous film was Tai Pan that's what he's famous for. He puts on a good performance. Sorry if I scratch my head. He puts on an okay performance. He's barely even in the movie. He's only in like maybe three minutes and that's it. But this movie was successful. It was nominated for five Oscars. I Yeah, five Oscars. It was up for Best Actress Sigourney Weaver, which she won the Golden Glove for it, for that film. It was up for sound, I think a film editing Oscar, I think something like that, and some on, and sound. I think that was the other one. It won none of that, but it did get five nominees. I think Sigourney Weaver could have got the could have won the Oscar for that, but it's really hard to say about that when you compare it to the other nominations. But I'm not talking about the Oscars, I'm talking about the performance. In my opinion, the performance is good. I think it's just a juicy performance. I think it's really good. I think it's just a really good performance. Michael Aptab was actually really good in this. I do have Coal, Mi Coal Miner's Daughter, which I'm probably going to cover on the channel soon. I don't know when, but... But... Yeah. Anyways. There's not much to say about this film that I mentioned. Like I said... The movie is set in Africa, but it's shot in Rwanda, and it just looks gorgeous. I love 80s movies. 80s movies to me has the, has some of the best cinematography. Uh, who else made this movie? Like I said, oh, I forgot to mention who uh, who um, who uh, also helped with this. It was actually the story was written by Anna ha Anna Hamilton Phelan and Tab Murphy. And Todd Murphy would go on to would go on to write two Disney movies, Hunchback of Notre Dame and Lantis Lost Empire. I just noticed that. But the screenplay was done by Anna Hamilton Phelan, which actually did get nominated for the writing Oscar. But yeah, um it was based on the book by Diane Fo based on the works by Diane Fossey, an article by Harold T. P. Haynes. I normally don't talk about the crew, but the crew is easily the best part about this movie. 
So yeah, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna gonna stop right there. But let's go ahead and take a look at the artwork. This is an old DVD release. This is as old as 1999 is when this DVD came out. The movie was 1988. I think I mentioned it before. Though the back of the DVD says that it has production notes, cast and filmmakers bio, film highlights, theatrical trailer, and web links. But there is another special feature that's not on the back of the DVD, but if you look really close right here, I don't know if you can see it though. Yes, there actually is a, I don't know if you can see it, but I'm going to tell you right now. There is a making of feature out on this. For an old, old DVD, there is a feature out on this. Don't know if Mill Creek ported that or not, because Mill Creek put this out on Blu-ray. So if you want to get your hands on that, you can. So, I'm going to stop right there. Final verdict, should you see Gorillas in the Mist? And I personally would say, yes. Actually, yes. This movie is good. Very, very, very good. I easily recommend this movie to anybody. I could highly recommend it to anybody. If you want a good adventure film, if you want to see Sigourney Weaver at her best, or if you're a big film history guy, you're going to want to check, check this movie out. It feels like a documentary, and that's really, that's, that's, that's a good thing. It feels like a documentary, but it's more of an adventure film more than a documentary. There's some documentary elements. There's some hard performances. The ending is very tragic, but I'm not going to give that away. I try my best not to give that away. But if you know the story of Diane Fossey, you'll know how this ends. So I'm just going to say it that. So anyways, yeah, so that's my review. Go check out Girls in the Mist. Definitely worth watching. I'm glad to sit down for this. This one is going to be a keep. Because I feel I can probably watch this over and over again and really enjoy it for what it is. It's a fun adventure picture. Set in the jungle. Sean Rwanda. Set in Africa. Really good stuff. I praise more of the crew for really doing this. They had the actors to really, really work in. Though in the feature ad, they mentioned that Sigourney Weaver had to work with real gorillas. And she got super nervous. Now, the director said, stay calm, Sigourney. Stay calm. Stay calm. Because if you... It's like with a bear. If you're working with a real bear, you might risk that. But with Sigourney Weaver, stay calm with the gorillas. And she sure did. And it showed you how good the performance is. They also had to do a lot of hiking during production of this. The director and the crew, everybody had to hike the mountains. So yeah, like I said, check out this movie. I could definitely recommend this. I don't know if this DVD is still irrelevant or still existing. But there is a Mill Creek Blu-ray. So if you Blu-ray guys are out there, you can pick up the Blu-ray if you want to. I don't have it on Blu-ray and I probably won't get it. But, you might want to check it out. So anyways, that's my review. Thank you so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm glad you're enjoying this though. I might, I might do one more review for one more week before I head back to my work. Before I head back to work. So, yeah. I'm glad, I'm just going to say right now, I'm glad I had fun with doing these reviews throughout this whole week. So, yeah. I'm just going to leave it at that. So, Check back my channel, click the subscribe button, click the bell, ring the bell. You'll get my notifications of all my reviews. Stop by the channel, I have plenty of movie reviews. Lots of movie reviews, guys. And I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.